What's up guys? So today I'm heading out once again for possibly my last moto camping trip of this year. It's getting a bit chilly out here to Chengdu. But on the way, I'm finding other really great camping sites. I mean, if you have a car out here, no matter what season, it seems like it's a great season to be camping. So I'll see you in a bit. I just had to stop by for a look at this. <laughs> just how beautiful is this? I'm, I'm only like halfway to my destination, but I already want to stop off and set up tent. Just my luck, guys. They closed down a bunch of campsites due to the coronavirus. Even some of the ones that are not even listed there are closed down. It basically seems like this whole province is closing down all the campsites. So I'm gonna actually backtrack to some of the ones I checked out before. Oh my gosh, these water jets will stop. All right, guys. Apparently, ask the local, this place is what you call a Hachon Kuji, which I have absolutely no idea what it means, but basically they say it belongs to the government and I'm fine to camp out here. So I'm just gonna take their word for it. Beggars can't be choosers right now because the sun's about to set and I don't have a lot of time. All right, I'll be completely honest with you. This isn't the greatest of spots. The view is actually quite nice but I believe that this is the Hangan River. So the river itself is quite dirty. It's not like I can take a bath in it or I don't even want to wash my dishes in it. But honestly, at the end of the day, I'm grateful that I got a roof over my head and some food to eat. However, now that I know that all the campsites in Chungcheong province are basically all shut down, I'm gonna have to maybe venture off all the way to Gyeonggi province to sleep tomorrow. So I'm gonna wrap up everything here, get a good night's sleep, and start out early. Later that same evening. I woke up, it's 2.30 a.m. right now, middle of the night. They got like a freaking airplane landing strip here. And what I am able to see because of that, it's this eerie but graceful fog that's just sweeping across this vast river. The next day, Top of the morning to yeah. This is fantastic. The weather is so great. It's sunny, but actually pretty chill. That's why you see me wearing long sleeves. It's that perfect Korean fall weather that I used to love coming here for. Oh, air is fresh, sun is bright, all is well. The water this morning is really clean. Yesterday there was like this sort of oily residue. I don't know if that's from nature, like all the fish poo poo in the day. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, I'll totally swim in this. These military guys coming out here and checking out the water. Was there a spillage? Chungju Lake! So excited for this! Now I didn't know this, but this particular town that I stayed in looks like they're known for their hot springs. I definitely want to return when all this COVID mess is over and I can experience these hot springs. <laughs> Look at these rice fields, guys! This is so beautiful. I actually doubled back around just to go on the scenic road here that I saw. Wow! This must be the sesame seed leaves. Ooh! Oh, it smells so good.
All right, guys. There's a little walkway to the dam. I'm gonna check it out real fast. So a lot of technical Korean terms I don't understand, but I do understand this is the nation's biggest concrete dam. What? I had like zero idea that such a thing existed here. <laughs> this is such an amazing view, guys. And I, I just learned something. So the Hangang River, comes from Seoul and I thought it actually traveled down to Chungju Lake which is one of the biggest lakes in Korea but what I'm seeing is that the lake is probably the source of the Hangang River now the noisy here in the background is they're doing some kind of construction over there it looks like another tunnel because I don't know Korea is just cannot accept driving around mountains they like to go through tunnels but that would be a very scenic road once it gets completed i'm sure i'm so stoked for this day because my whole day is planned around just traveling around this hangang river and around chungju lake which is the source of the hangang river and you guys have to understand the significance of the hangang river it is basically korea's river i mean I could be wrong because Korea is based on Chinese and Chinese has different tones and modern Korean doesn't have tones so Han can mean many different things. But for those of you who don't know, Korea is not what Koreans call their country. Koreans call their country Hanguk. So Korea is just like a misnomer that, you know, the foreigners made and then it just sort of stuck. But Hanguk is what this country is called. And like, it might be my ignorance. But this is Han Gang, which is the Han's river. It's like the nation's river. Oh man, there's barbed wire. Uh, okay, here, getting you guys a better view. <laughs> I'm loving it. And this is the other side of the dam. It looks like the water levels are really high. I think that's like 140 meters. This says Koreans. Yeah, that must be 140 meters. We just had like the biggest rainy season. Whoa. So after the dam right over there, this is basically the start of Chungju Lake. And unlike you know the lakes that we see in america the lakes here in korea are how do you say dragon shaped they're they're just very long and windy with many different branches and such it's a huge lake and it's gonna take me a lot longer to travel around that because it's just not a simple straight circle but it looks like you could take one of those boats and tour around chungju lake Unfortunately, I don't see a lot of tourists. I'm really surprised more people don't come here. So although I don't have time to get on the ferry, I'm gonna check out how much it is. All right, because it's a weekday, I don't think there's a lot of people here. So they're not gonna do the first course, but this is like the base course here, which is the second course. It's about one hour, you circle around. Uh, they say they don't stop anywhere, but man, if I knew about this, I mean, those of you guys who are just coming out on a car and not just like motorbiking like me, that would be a great option to check out this lake. So I detoured a bit, but guys, what a sight. You get to see the, the lake. And I like how it branches out into so many little areas. It's like almost like a river system. Oh, this is just the beginning of the lake, however, so I got to get on the road. I don't know if you can see this, guys, but there's like a tree there. I think it's uh, like old school Korean shamanism or something, but I see like a ribbon around the tree and everything. Such an interesting area. All right, so there definitely seems like there is a boating community out here. This is the Chungju Yacht racing house.
the fishing spot is located over there, I think they'll just roll you out to one of these homes and you can fish. That's so fantastic. Oh, such amazing views. So I've been going up this small little road for quite a while now. <laughs> uh, hopefully it connects to the other end. But it's really high up there in the views. Oh my god. So breathtaking. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh, I love this place. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is so much better than the Ho Chi Minh Trail that I went on in Vietnam. And that's one of my favorite roads. Oh, wow. It seems like this mountain is called Surije. And I'm at the peak. I see a couple of people parked around here. I think if I climb up there, I'll get a better view. This is funny. Those people thought I was like picking mushrooms or something out of the mountains because of that. It's just my sleeping bag. Man, I even halfway up. Check out the view, guys. Oh, fantastic. You can show us how say Oh. Now it sort of reminds me of uh, the Monkey Mountain Trail in Da Nang, in uh, Vietnam. They have very similar roads, but from what I remember, the roads weren't as well paved. And I was looking more at the ocean, whereas this is a nice, peaceful river. So it seems like they grow a lot of apples around here in these parts. Chungju apples. Look for them at your nearest grocer. So I'm not even a third of the way done and the GPS tells me to go there. But look at that. That's a road I don't even see in the GPS. I think I'm gonna go there. So there's a little tape that says danger. <sighs> I sort of want to rip it off and try it out, but that's such a scenic view right now. But I, I gotta get moving. Because <laughs> this is only the beginning. Look at this, guys. An apple tree farm. Bunch of fallen... Ew. Right, here we go. I found one. Looks okay for the most part. Has a little nick there, but... Pretty fresh. Luckily, they're doing construction here, so I can stop in the middle of the bridge safely and show you guys a bit of this. Wow! Okay, this is gonna be my thumbnail. I'm gonna see if this construction guy can take a picture for me. Thumbnail! Yeah. You can count on Koreans to take good pictures. But he was telling me somebody was driving under the influence and died, like literally crashed through that kind of barrier right there. So they must have been driving super fast. So now they're reinforcing it like this. Man, I mean, this is Korea, guys. I mean, I think that's enough. But just because one person died, which actually I'm not gonna say just because, but because of one person, they're gonna just reinforce the whole place, make it even better. Roads are amazing out here. All right, guys, significant landmark. From here on, it's Chechon City. I'm coming out of Chungju. And I've only traveled this distance. I need to at least make it around here, halfway around the lake, before I start thinking about setting up camp. Because tomorrow, I want to climb this mountain that's going to give me this amazing view. But, oh my god, how amazing this piece of road is. It is a motorbiker's heaven. And this whole time I've been driving through it, I kid you not, I only came across one car. One freaking car. And look how nicely laid out the road is. I mean, I feel guilty for not paying that much in taxes. It's like the Korean taxpayers have paid to lay out one of the greatest roads, safe as well, and they're not even here to enjoy it. This needs to be known. People need to enjoy it. 
Here's another safety feature I see in every sharp corner here in Korea. It's one of these mirrors to show you oncoming traffic. Every sharp corner, they have one of these installed. So it's relatively safe to be driving out here. Me and the road and the lake. Woohoo! Look at that lake. Just want to also let you know they have really nice areas on the side of the road dedicated for you to just chill maybe cook some hot noodles <laughs> this place is so underutilized I, I feel bad whoa guys do you see that there's like a little Square Island pulled off. Any guess? Let me know. I'm at a significant landmark here. It says Pusan Li. Not to be confused with Pusan City. I think it's called Pusan like Village or whatever. But I just came out of there. This is the only way you're gonna get back to civilization. Make sure you come with a full tank of gas because if you get stuck in that windy road, you're screwed because there's nothing around there. Just you and the road. Now I'm sort of at the halfway point of where I want to end up. This also leads into an area with not much else but just you, the road, and the lake. But if you want to adventure on <laughs> to Busan Li, we go. We are going. Looks like the latest typhoons got a piece of that road.